It's officially time to start planning for January and I couldn't be more excited to get started. If you watched my 2021 bullet journal setup, you heard me talk about an Instagram account, Scribbles and Spreads, that my best friend Janae and I are starting in January. I also mentioned that we would be doing the same overarching theme each month. So. Our overarching theme for January is winter. I have been really wanting to do a frozen theme for a solid few months now. I wanted to do it for December, but I don't know, it just didn't, didn't work out the way that I wanted it to. So I knew that I really wanted to do it for January 2021. So if you're a big Frozen fan like myself and are getting some inspiration from my January 2021 setup, Grab all your stationary materials and let's get started. So to get started on my 2021 January setup, I got out the watercolor paint. I had seen someone on Pinterest come up with this idea, so it is not my own by any means and I will try to link the artist down below. But the general idea is just a picture of Elsa from the back with her dress Kind of flowing a little bit how I guess it naturally would be so that is really what I'm going for here and I'm really just using a few different shades of blue to create some highlights and some shadows in there and a little bit of white here and there also kind of mixed in and water <laughs> which is pretty much it um i am very new to the watercolor game however i have really been loving it and i've really been challenging myself a lot with it so i'm so excited that i got to bring it to elsa for this january setup Elsa's hair was probably my favorite part of the painting to work with. I have never really painted hair that I can think of. I usually don't paint people. It is not my strong skill by any means. I'm much better with uh, almost anything else, <laughs> but people are typically very tough for me. But I was so excited to work with Elsa's hair, just like creating the dimension of the braid was a really really cool um, thing for me to do and gave me a new fun challenge so I really quite enjoyed that the biggest challenge that I had actually was her hand for whatever reason I just could not get it down so I ended up giving up the night before and coming back the next day to finish out Elsa and I really really love how it turned out I'm so proud of myself because I genuinely didn't know if I could even pull this off so I really love it and then I cut her out of the watercolor paper and pasted her into my bullet journal I really wanted Elsa to be the main focus of my first spread for January so I didn't want to add anything else too crazy going on on this spread but I did want to add a few little snowflakes and ice looking crystals coming uh, out from her hand to really I guess bring the extra frozen vibe to life. And then the only other thing that I did on the spread was add some white little accents to the back of her dress. And that pretty much finishes up the first spread of my January 2021 setup. 
Moving on to the next spread, I of course have my calendar spread. Honestly, I haven't done a full calendar, like two page spread like this in quite a while. For whatever reason, I guess maybe COVID, I just really wasn't using my calendar very much, but I am trying to remain super positive and feel good about January. So I hope everybody else brings the positive vibes into the new year with me. But I really wanted this one to take up two pages and feel like I'm getting back to some type of normalcy even in my bullet journal. And here I'm actually using my watercolor paints again to uh, color in the letters of January. I tried really hard to mimic the lettering style of Frozen, so hopefully that shows through. But one of the really good things about the paper in the Amanda Rachel Lee journal is that it really took the watercolor extremely well. I didn't do the Elsa on the bullet journal itself as you all saw just because that was a lot of paint and a lot of dry time and a whole other situation and I honestly was scared I was gonna have to redo it so I didn't want to do it inside of my journal but I definitely think I could have and it wouldn't have been a big deal but I do really love how the January turned out and I love that the whole spread really came together and I did decide to leave Olaf just in black and white I don't know I just really liked it when I was kind of looking back over it. So that's pretty much the end of that spread. All right, moving on to the habit and mood tracker spread. I am so stoked with this spread and how it came out. I have never been prouder of myself for being super creative with this one. I just really loved that I came up with the idea to use the crystals that are such an important part of the storyline in Frozen 2 and of course the snowflakes for the mood tracker. I'm not sure if anyone else has ever done anything similar but if they have please link their videos down below so everyone else can get some extra inspiration but I really am just so proud of this so definitely let me know what you think of this spread down in the comments below. Just like in the January lettering, I also used my watercolor paints to do the lettering for the habit and the mood tracker. And then I again used them to actually do the crystals. So that's why you saw the paint brush there. But it really turned out so great. And I really, really am a big fan of using watercolor in my bullet journal. Okay, moving on to the next spread. This spread is my highlight of the day spread. I started doing this spread back in September of 2020 and it has really been a game changer for me. I just write down one thing, bare minimum, that was really good about my day. Even if I had a terrible day, I always make sure that I write down at least something positive about it. And it really helps me always find the bright side to even a bad situation. I have been loving the spread so much and I love being able to look back over my days and just see like the one thing that really brought me joy. I had been doing it on a half spread, but it just wasn't enough space for me. So I decided to do it with a two page spread and just leave the rest of the page blank to make sure I had enough space for everything I wanted to write. Now we're officially on to the playlist spread. This is a new spread for me. I had not been doing it, but Janae and I both decided we wanted to add them to our journals this year just for memory's sake. And honestly, I haven't been listening to any music besides Ariana Grande's relatively new album. I know I'm obsessed, but it's just so good. And it's the only thing I've really been listening to besides podcast. So I printed out all the podcasts that I've actually been listening to and put them below the queen 
So uh, if you have been looking for some new podcasts, these are some really good ones that I really like a lot. I know quite a few of them are YouTuber related, but they're actually really, really good. If you're a big Bachelor fan, Chatty Broads is 100% the best podcast to listen to. I really, really love it and it always gives you like a fresh perspective on things that you might not have even noticed yourself. So that one is a high recommendation if you are into The Bachelor at all. The next page I was actually gonna have be a quote page with another lyric from Just Like Magic for Ariana, but I then remembered that I really needed a brain dump page and I didn't leave space for one when I was sketching everything out. So the quote got scrapped for the time being, but I think I'm gonna add it back later. And with the brain dump, I just needed to keep it super simple so I had as much space as possible to work with considering I normally give it a full two spreads. All right, so the last spread of my January 2021 setup is my weekly spread. And I do set up my weekly spreads every week, typically on Sunday. So if you want to see more of them, definitely make sure to check out Janae and I's Instagram. Again, it scribbles in like the letter in spreads. Um, but this one is the first one for January 2021. And I decided to make it a little bit of a Dutch door. It kind of makes more sense if you just kind of watch to be honest, but I put the bottom part as my like weekly events or things that might be going on. I have quite a few doctor's appointments that week, so I knew I needed the extra space. And typically the beginning of the year each year is very busy for me at my normal nine to five job. So I wanted as much space to plan as possible. The last thing I did to finish out the weekly spread is add in the little bubbles for the numbers of each day and then colored in the snowflake again all using the same watercolor and that pretty much finishes up my entire January setup so let's go to the final flip through. Thank you all so much for watching this video. And I also wanna say thank you all so much for the support on my 2021 bullet journal setup. I have never had people be so nice to me on the internet and I'm so excited to now feel like I'm a part of the bullet journaling community. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more bullet journaling content coming soon and make sure to go follow my Instagram with my best friend today, Scribbles and Spreads. I will link it down below. We will start officially posting content January 1st, 2021, so only a few days left and make sure to leave me some comments with any good ideas for a February setup that you might wanna see from me or Janae. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you in the new year. Bye.